there have been several complaints of Samsung Galaxy owners experiencing a variety of network signal issues, so we've created this page to give a thorough list of answers. If you are one of the unlucky users who is experiencing a problem, this troubleshooting guide may be of assistance. Follow our advice to find out what you can do. If you've recently been on the road and haven't received any network signal, the roaming function may be activated. Before reconnecting, make sure roaming is turned off. You can disable data roaming with these steps. Go to Settings. Tap Connections. Select Mobile Networks. Turn on Data Roamings. Disconnect the SIM card to verify whether your Samsung signal issue is solved. Make sure the phone is turned off before taking out and reinserting the card to avoid data corruption. Dirty metallic contacts on the card might create connection issues, so wipe it off with a clean cloth before reinstalling it. Minor temporary issues are sometimes resolved by restarting the device. Make sure to carry out this basic troubleshooting procedure on your Samsung smartphone. Simply hold down the power button on your device and tapping on restart. If your phone or tablet becomes unresponsive or stops operating, you may force it to restart by pressing and holding the power button for at least 12 seconds. Resetting network configuration is one of the most effective techniques to repair any Samsung network problems. If you haven't done so before, now is the time to do so. You'll need to reconnect to Wi-Fi networks after completing this method. You'll also need to connect to any Bluetooth devices you've linked. Open Settings app. Tap General Management. Tap Reset. Tap Reset Network Settings. Tap Reset Settings to confirm. Enter your screen lock option to proceed. Tap Reset. Simply launch the Play Store app to check for app updates. If you want to check for new Android OS updates, go to Settings. Select Software Updates. Tap Download and Install. Temporarily disconnecting a Samsung smartphone from your network provider is the solution to several issues. If you're still getting no connection or having signal issues, make sure you reset the network settings on your Samsung phone or tablet. To do this, open Settings app. Tap Connections. Tap Mobile Networks. Then, select Network Operators. Tap Select Manually. If you have a Duo SIM Samsung device, make sure to select which SIM card you're working on at the bottom. Wait for your device to search for networks. Pick a different network. Once it's done searching, select another network to connect to. For example, if you're on T-Mobile, pick on T or any other network. Wait for your device to register to the new network. Picking out a different network will obviously result in failed registration. This is what you want. Let the device finish the process in order to disconnect it from your own network. Your phone will be forced to return with an error because it won't be able to register successfully. You should also get a no service notification at the top. You can repeat once the device has been unplugged from the network, and then choose select automatically. Your Samsung smartphone will discover and reconfigure your own network on its own. Some Android issues can be traced back to a faulty third-party app. Try restarting your Samsung smartphone to safe mode to discover whether it has malware or a faulty third-party software. No program that isn't part of the original software package may run in this mode. If your Samsung phone or tablet runs normally in safe mode without a system UI error, you have an issue with a faulty third-party program. To resolve the issue, you must uninstall the offending app from your phone. Hold down the power button until you get the power off menu. Hold the power off button down until the safe mode screen appears. Tap the safe mode button. Wait for the system to finish booting up to safe mode. It might take up to 30 seconds for the procedure to finish. Safe mode should be displayed in the lower left area of the home screen after the restart. Press and hold the power button while selecting restart to exit safe mode. 
safe mode won't tell you which program is causing the issue, but you can figure it out by deleting each app one at a time. Consider emptying the cache partition if your Samsung phone is having trouble connecting to your network, or if network capabilities have ceased working after a software upgrade. This will clear the system cache presumably resolving any cache-related difficulties you may be experiencing. Before you begin to boot to recovery mode, make sure to connect your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 to your computer using the USB-C cable that you use for charging. You can also use third-party USB cable if you no longer have the original cable. Turn off the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 via the power menu. Press and hold the volume up and power buttons for a few moments. Then, release the power button once the Samsung logo appears. Do not release the volume up button until the recovery screen is displayed. Once you're in recovery mode, let go of the volume up button. You won't lose files if you clear the cache partition, since it won't remove your personal info. If the problem persists after trying all of the above remedies, you might consider resetting the program to factory default. Turn off your Samsung. Connect your Samsung device to a computer using a USB cable. Hold the power key while pressing and holding the volume up key. Release the buttons when the Samsung splash screen appears. Use the volume down button until the wipe data, factory reset option is highlighted. Select wipe data factory reset by pressing the power button. Select yes, allow several seconds for the factory data reset to complete. That's it, if you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.